Guys, I'm super excited about this video because I've been planning it for a really long time and I finally got an early access to GitHub Copilot. You've probably already seen people using GitHub Copilot for small tasks like to-do lists or counters, but I want to make this video a bit different. I'm going to use it on a real world programming problem. So if you want to see what this AI tool is capable of and whether it can help you write production ready code, make sure you stay till the end of the video. Before we dive into code, I want to quickly explain what problem we're going to be solving today. Last year, I participated in a hackathon by T-Mobile, and the goal of it was to write a skill for their smart speaker, basically a different version of Amazon Echo. And I, being single, came up with this great idea of building a Tinder-like dating app for that smart speaker. I still haven't seen anything similar on the marketplace, so feel free to steal my idea and become rich. You're welcome. Basically, the idea was to build an ExpressJS API with a MySQL database where users could add their questions with preliminary answers and get asked by other random people. If the answers are the same, they would get a match. Now, what I did is I created an API that the device would hit and receive back a response string, which it later would answer with. Sounds fairly interesting, right? Now, the real question is, is it possible to code it with GitHub Copilot? I think it's time to dive into code. So we've got two folders in our project. One of them is the actual device logic, which hits our API. So it's in, written in Python. And the second one is the server, which is the ExpressJS server. And me being lazy, I put all the routes, actually routes, and the, its controllers into one single file, index.html. First thing that we're gonna do is actually get rid of all the routes and controllers except the one that we're gonna be working on. The reason is GitHub Copilot is smart enough to be able to look into the rest of the files in your project and kind of figure out your coding style and what variables you're mostly using. And it's gonna suggest similar things to you when you basically ask for his suggestions. So. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete all the routes and paste the one that we are going to be working with. But before you, we use GitHub Copilot, I quickly want to go line by line and explain what the, the endpoint actually is doing so that we know what to expect. So this endpoint simply counts the matches that we have or a user has. So we're going to have a try and catch block. And the first thing that we do is simply we get the user from the database with an ID one ID one is simply there because we only have one user of this app, me. <laughs> and next we have answers questions of a user and they are kind of saved or simply divided by a semicolon. Please don't judge me. And we're going to filter them because sometimes the device does not understand what you said and registers simply an undefined. So we're going to filter them and we're going to map the string to a uh, JavaScript object. What we're gonna have after after that from answered questions is, is simply an array of objects, which signifies which users answered our questions and whether there was a match or not. So user two, some other user than me, answered my question, do you like swimming? And the match was false because probably they said no and I said yes. Then same user answered the second question and there was a match. And then you can see that there, there are three answers from user three and all of them match, so three trues. So next what we're gonna do is simply have a dictionary to register how many matching answers every user has uh, for us from our perspective. So we're gonna have a for each loop, loop through every answered question. And if the dictionary that we created above doesn't have a user ID actually, then we're gonna initialize it with a zero. But if there's a match from this specific user ID, we're going to increment it by one. And then we're going to have this dictionary. Basically, the dictionary is going to look like this. So from user two, we had only one matching answer. It's here because the first one didn't match. And from user with an ID three, we have three matching answers. As I showed you, it's here. And the last but not least, we're going to simply create a variable to hold the total amount of matching users. Uh, basically people who are kind of close to us with their hobbies. And we're going to loop through the entries and 
If a specific user has three or more matching answers, in this case, the user number three has three matching answers, then we're gonna say that it's a real match. So we have a future. Anyway, let's not be sentimental. So we're gonna have only one matching user and we're gonna send a response with a count of matches to the, back to the client from the server. And now it's time to delete all of, oh wait, also we handled the error and send, a, send an error message. And now we're gonna delete everything that we just saw and let the GitHub Copilot do it for us. So I'm not sure if you already know, but GitHub Copilot somehow uh, generates the code as soon as you start writing a comment and let's see how it works actually. So first of all, we're gonna get the user from the database. So I'm gonna write in as a comment, basically get a user with ID one uh, from, no, actually find a user with ID one. Find a user, let's see what it generates. And it generated literally the code that we had. So it's using this object or it's called a model MySQL model, and it's gonna use the ID one. Amazing, it's just, it just amazes me every time. And now we're gonna loop through answered questions of the user and split them. Now we're gonna say, get answered questions of a user and split by a semicolon. Let's see what it generates. Well, it's quite close to what we had. Let's simply change this to answered questions. It's splitting by, by a semicolon. And let's say filter out empty strings. That is exactly what we had. So actually let's remove this. Okay, and we also need them to JSON objects. Let's see what we have, filter. Wow, this is crazy. This is just crazy. <laughs> how, how can you generate such a code with only, only a comment? Well, now we are going to create a question matches variable and we're gonna use the GitLab Copilot again. Okay, wow, it did define it. I'm saying wow with every line of code that it generates, it's crazy. And now we're gonna loop through, wow, loop, exactly, we're gonna loop through answered questions and what, and add them, yes, exactly. <laughs> How does it know all of this? Okay, let's see what code it generates. It, yes, that's what we need. And next line, yes, almost, I would say. If there's a, well, user ID, not question ID, user ID. Actually, let's generate this part with the copilot again. Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm, I'm so impressed. And now let's uh, look for the second bot. And if press, yes. How does it know exactly? It's just that the user ID is written differently. But otherwise, everything's literally it's simply reading my mind. Guys, tell me I'm not crazy. Please tell me I'm not crazy. Oh, wait, but but it, but it didn't generate an if statement. If the user ID. Yes, if answered question is match. Yeah, exactly, that's what we need. Question is, yeah? Wow, so it should be user ID with the underscore, but otherwise this is crazy. How does it know what I'm even, what I even want to do. I don't understand. So please tell me I'm not crazy. So question match and that's it. That's the, that's, that's all we needed actually. And I think it also needs a, yeah, like this. And now we're simply gonna count how many matches in general we have. So let's say, yes totally and now loop through questions match object and add the values to matches count if value is three or higher let's see how it does it 
Yes. This is just crazy. I have no words. <laughs> now let's finally return the... So, yes? Wait, was it listening to me? How, how did it know that's what I want to do? Yes, exactly. It's, it's literally what we had. Some client with, uh, let's say, v v value count. Exactly, like, no. Not... That, that's, that's, that's good enough. That's good enough. Yeah, totally. And now let's handle the error. So we're gonna say, we're gonna send the response status to 422. And, uh, and the error message to the client. Wow. Guys, I have no words. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. This, this is just crazy. To be honest, this is simply unbelievable. It's so obvious that this GPT-3 has been trained on all this open source code on GitHub. I felt like it was always one step ahead of me, like whenever I was writing the comments, it was already reading my mind somehow. Let me know what your thoughts are on this AI tool. Do you think it's gonna make our programming experience better in the future or is it gonna take our jobs and make us developers obsolete? I'm gonna make more videos on GitHub Copilot, so make sure you stay tuned and have a great rest of the day.